2019, Miller High School is back open this fall for the first time since an explosion and fire last February. And even after months of cleaning and rebuilding, not everything is quite back to normal. As Cuddlelands Carter Schmidt reports, there's still more work to do, but students and staff are just happy to be back in the building. Students were in their first period class on February 2nd. We all heard the boom, and then all of a sudden the fire alarms went off, and we all went outside, and we didn't really know what happened. Principal Steve Shoemaker was in his office when it happened. There was black smoke. I mean, I was the last one out of the building, and you couldn't see your hand in front of your face as I walked out of the building. Everyone got out safely, but there was a lot of damage. They took all the carpet out, all the ceiling tiles, replaced all of that painted everything. Um, a lot of the wiring due to the fire was damaged, so there was a lot of electricians around. All books and other classroom supplies and equipment had to be thrown out and replaced. The shop where the explosion and fire happened was tore down entirely. The new shop will be built this school year, but it won't be quite ready until next August. It'll include new equipment to enhance the agriculture and construction courses offered here in Miller. This is Superintendent Eric Norton's first year in Miller. We have bays and opportunities where we can expand what we do have offered and uh, you know with everything being new in the building now we can uh, move forward with some other things. In the meantime shop classes are being held elsewhere. Students and staff are just happy to be back in the building, especially the seniors. It feels good. Yeah, we got all our stuff back. Hopefully just a normal senior year. We got our gym back, so games are normal and practices, so it feels a lot better. There was a little more energy this year, just that all of our kids come back those first few days. In Miller, Carter Schmidt, Kelloland News. And Shoemaker says that they believe a spark flew into an oil barrel in the shop that may have had some old gas which set off the explosion.